Well, a new study is painting a troubling picture of drug costs. The National Health Statistics found millions of seniors can't afford their prescriptions. Almost 4% of seniors skip their medication because of financial cost. Generally, even though seniors older than 65 qualify for Medicare, medications aren't automatically covered. Some people are using the internet to find cheaper access to medication, but the CDC is out with an urgent warning about the risk of buying counterfeit prescription medication from fake online pharmacies. And we have an exclusive look at how drug maker Eli Lilly is fighting the rise of counterfeit medications. ABC's Eva Pilgrim has the story. Eli Lilly and company, the maker of popular drugs Manjaro and Zepbound, is urgently warning patients about the dangers of counterfeit medications. We've seen examples where there were dangerous medicines like an insulin in here, a patient injecting this, thinking that they're getting Manjaro and instead getting potentially an overdose of another pharmaceutical product. So really these are incredibly risky, um, you know, situations. Lilly says counterfeits are often being marketed online as the real stuff and disguised as genuine medications. The company and Dr. David Hyman, the chief medical officer, giving us an exclusive look inside one of its labs, showing us counterfeit items like this Munjaro pen. They've removed the original label. They've stuck this label onto it. But this is not Munjaro. People have taken another one of our medicines called Trulicity and actually relabeled it with this fake label and actually hand painted the green button that this device uses a color blue. Trulicity, another diabetes medication that if not prescribed by a doctor and taken properly could cause hypoglycemia or possibly even death. And Lilly is not alone in this fight against risky fakes. In 2023, the FDA warning about counterfeit versions of Ozempic and Wegovi, the diabetes and weight loss medications made by Nova Nordisk. Dr. Hyman tells us this is a growing problem they are trying to fight. Can you walk us through sort of what y'all's process has been like to track down these counterfeits? Anyone that goes online these days, um, it's not hard to see these, these products being advertised to you. So a variety of online marketplaces and, and other venues, these products come to us. Some of them are sent to us through complaints, uh, patients being harmed or it not giving them the anticipated benefit. And what are you finding? Are these actual real medicines? They range from uh, products that, that are, don't contain anything resembling our medicines um, to medicines that could actually be harmful if administered the doses impurities, bacteria, a variety of truly frightening things. What's happening in here? Lilly allowing GMA exclusive access to a new still under construction manufacturing lab in Indianapolis to show us what goes into keeping their drugs sterile. What's amazing about these facilities, they're fully automated, they're isolated so that humans aren't coming in contact with the medicine, things are safe, sterile. Lilly says it has invested nearly $20 billion in new or upgraded manufacturing since 2020. Skeptical people will say, well, they, you don't want us to get it for cheap. What's the motivation to make sure that these drugs are what they are? It's really avoidance of patient harm. Part of being an innovator in this space and a, a pioneer of these medicines is that we're also obligated to make sure that patients are educated and are not receiving products that can harm them. And Eli Lilly says they are working with authorities to remove the counterfeits. Here are things they say keep in mind when looking for this medication. Authentic products require a prescription. It should come from a pharmacy. And they are warning people do not buy from social media or other non-licensed marketplaces.